Hey everyone, this is a short story of how I created this game in one day with no prior knowledge of programming in C Sharp using ChatGPT and Visual Studio. By the way, you can download it from the link in the description. It all started with a simple prompt that I would like to create a 2D shooter in Visual Studio as a WPS project. So I had ChatGPT create the basic framework for me, how to set up the files, integrate a character and a map to move around on. Copy, paste and... oh yeah, I don't have any image files yet. So I went over to Bing and had it create a simple 2D map for me first. In PaintShop I then reworked the map a bit so I could walk through the corridors with my character easily. Afterwards I used Bing again to create a character. I didn't like the first version that much so I tried again. Much better now. Reworked it a bit and saved it. After that a problem showed up. It said the character image is not present in the current context. Since I had no idea what this meant, I simply asked GPT. Not only did I get a detailed explanation, but also a solution to the problem. After some quick fixes, it was time for a first try, so I started the game. And I saw... nothing. Why? Well, let's ask GPT. Long story short, the images were not included correctly in my project and were not declared as a resource belonging to the game. Smart ass, that would have been my approach as well. After fixing what was suggested to me, I restart the game and it worked. I was able to walk. Through walls, but I could walk. The controls were still a bit glitchy, but of course fixing that was only a matter of asking GPT. So next I started asking how to add walls, create colliders, and I had a ghost created to serve as an enemy. I set the image as resource, because that's what you do when you know what you're doing. I created a title screen, or rather had a title screen created, and tested it. What the heck GPT, we're not playing a kid's game here, I want the ghosts to follow me. There we go. Okay, now the game still had to recognize when a ghost is hit by a bullet, and I needed a picture of a dead ghost. Couldn't be easier. Put it in, set as resource. Let's go! Since everything worked as intended, I added a life indicator, a collision check with the ghosts, and tested again. After that, I decided to have GPT add a status bar for life and bullets remaining, created more levels, a scoreboard for ghosts killed, a big boss ghost, and a hardcore mode when you've played through all the levels. Of course there's also background music, which I turn off for now, and a high score list, because why not? And that's it. That's my own chat GPT game for Windows. Credit goes to Dali and Bing as well, of course. I'll briefly show you the boss ghost that takes 8 bullets, the medipack mechanism and the hard mode when you've gone through all of the levels. After that the game starts with only 6 bullets, the second time it restarts with only 4, and the third time you play through all levels, it slows you down. Unfortunately I never made it that far. If any viewer can make it, let me know if the mechanics work. If you want to test the game, the download link is in the description, but you need Microsoft Net Framework to play it, but during installation you get an info where to download it. Thanks for watching, leave me a like and subscribe if you liked it, happy ghost hunting and see you next time!
This was my last attempt of level 4 with only 4 bullets, by the way. Subscribe!